You know, I had an opportunity to spend almost nine days uh, in Ghana, West Africa over the past two weeks. It was not my first time visiting uh, the continent, but particularly Ghana. Um, I made my way there through a partnership not only with the city of New Orleans, but with Essence, full circle. As also responding to the call of action from our brothers and sisters in Ghana for their commemoration of the 400 years from that first slave ship leaving the coast and that port of Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. And that was the transatlantic slave trade in which the city of New Orleans was a receiver of the slaves over 400 years coming to the port of the city of New Orleans. So it made very good sense not only to visit during their year of the return and pleading to the diaspora to return and that being a part of it was more, more than magical. But what it was, was connecting again the diaspora to the continent. And also in establishing a sister city agreement with the city of Cape Coast, the mayor there and myself. It made more sense than ever, ensuring that one, that when those boat left and our people, they were not slaves. They were human beings. Amen. And they were masterful. Amen. They were educators. They were people. They were somebody. But because of what happened, they were enslaved. And therefore, coming to our coast, not only to the city of New Orleans, but of course to the state of Louisiana. Now, the city of New Orleans is the most Afrocentric city in the United States of America. And it's because of this slave trade. And not only that, when Louisiana was purchased in 1803, it not only uh, expanded the footprint of the United States in terms of land mass, it doubled and increased the population of the United States and people, but those people were slaves. We should never forget that, and therefore we will always have to remember. And one of the things that really struck me was that regardless of slavery, apartheid, or colonization, black people were exploited in every way possible. And poverty continues to exist wherever black people are. And so with that, it's time also as we celebrate, and I say celebrate because in spite of all of the challenges, the disenfranchisement and the separation, we have been able not only to build a new world, but to ensure that the people advance, that they overcome adversity, that they are the real examples of what resiliency is all about. And that is in the heart of the city of New Orleans, meaning the influence of our African brothers and sisters that continues to live on and through this commission and every single citizen in the city of New Orleans. So it is through that we celebrate the resiliency and that will make its way through how we celebrate yes. uh, this great week of the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. 